Hi guys, my name is Andy and together with my wife Serena, we're traveling from Australia to Germany. If you might have seen last episode, we shipped the car on the ferry from South Korea to Russia. We drove about 4,000 kilometers over the last 14 days from Vladivostok to Lake Baikal. I did split this trip up in two episodes because I wasn't sure if anyone wants to see an episode that's over an hour long. But if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoy the trip. Our first little drive. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We left the port! Yep, the adventure starts. Yeah, it works. Beautiful <laughs> up with diesel for the first time and they have people that do it for you and apparently you go in and pay first I think which I'm really confused about. On our way to Remy is what it's called to go do our first supermarket shop. Three dollars a kilo for some apples and his favourite. Finally got some fruit again we don't have to pay a fucking fortune. Yes. Type in the number and it weighs it with prints up a sticker. Oh. <laughs> this is all frozen stuff. Hmm. By the weight. Oh, watermelon per kilo. Very cheap. Oh, so nice to be able to have access to fresh food again. All the salamis. Oh, and then cheese. the highway being right next to us but it's actually beautiful here but uh i think we'll have an early start to the morning tomorrow and uh yeah so now we're gonna set up cook some dinner and pack up shop for the night and then have an early start tomorrow i reckon yeah yeah we made it our first night in the car <laughs> it's our dinner tonight we have some crackers a bit of nice fresh bread some celebratory, celebratory, drinks. some celebration mm -hmm. drinks, and uh, a little cheesy fruit platter because we can't be bothered cooking because yeah, it's, it's half seven. Half seven. <laughs> but yep, today we drove how far, Andy? Uh, two hundred fifty kilometers. Two hundred fifty. Yeah. But we didn't leave until like three o'clock at the supermarket. Yeah. But uh, yeah, then we get to watch this nice, beautiful sunset that's happening outside from the inside of the car because. Uh, there are so many mosquitoes outside, so we are coated in mozzie spray. So oh. thankfully we've got a couple of spray bottles. Yeah, we'll rest up tonight and- Big drive tomorrow. Big drive tomorrow. Oh, seven hours. Yeah. Aim for seven, eight hours. Yep. We did it.
this point they are starting looking for camps I've been searching for thanks to Google Maps. Vladivostok yesterday drove about 675 kilometer to this spot here that's the spot Serena found thanks to Google Maps started here for the last two nights just getting the archive a bit more organized and everything and yeah getting ready for the big drive yeah. and I'll quickly show you on the map so here in Vladivostok, we have to drive along the Chinese border now. Up to here, like Baikal. Then we spend some time like Baikal before we head into Mongolia. supply run to the local supermarket and keep going. Yes. Uh, Russian toilet paper that might start to hurt after a while. So now we have a quick pit stop in the town of Kaborovsk. Look at this church. Look at this square here. There's a blue church here. This is the, uh, the golden church or the church with the golden roofs we drove past before. Not sure what the system here is, but people park each other in. So I'm not sure how they manage that. There is a monument for the soldiers of the um, Civil War. Very nice. Yeah. So we have a look around this town a little bit, a couple of squares. We already got our food, have to get some more diesel, and then hit the road again. Probably won't get that many kilometers done today. But you can't always just push up kilometer after kilometer after kilometer.
here. There's another restaurant back there that had it. I think it's Georgian. So we do like our soda water. Mm -hmm. We bought this one here, but it is very mineral rich water. It's, uh, it tastes like you're licking on a copper pipe. Yeah, it tastes like iron. Yeah. Ugh. It's gotta be good for you, right? Uh, if it doesn't taste that good, it's good for you. <laughs> campsite here today not far from the town we just went through what I like to do once you finish I like to touch the hubs and see if they're hot or not fortunately there's a bit of rubbish around this side all good nice and cool so yeah here we are it is it is pretty windy but lucky we've got a high top so it's not a problem so time warp it is the next morning we're about to leave, show you quickly where we are at the moment. So, first off, we went for Vostok up here, and now we're about here. And so, it's, we did almost a thousand kilometers, we under a quarter of our way to get to like Baikal. And yeah, to, today we're going to a border town with the Chinese border. So, on one side of the river where we will be, it's the Russian border, then across the river is the Chinese border, this China. So, have a look at this. And the funny thing is, a couple weeks ago we complained how warm it is and humid. We don't like it. No, it's getting actually pretty frosty. I think according to Google last night it was like 6 degrees. What did I leave? I, just, I did engage both hubs and I'll probably put in four wheel drive. The way out is not that bad, but I, would, I do like engage four wheel drive once in a while just to make sure everything's working in case we ever need it. So there's a road closure ahead of us and we followed Yandex map, the alternative route. Turns out it was blocked. It was an absolute failure. So we drove back, have to wait now here and yeah. all these trucks overtook all morning long on front of me now. Ah, it's painful. <laughs> Just a random truck stop here along our road. There you got the restaurant, pretty basic. And over there somewhere is a water tap. See if no one parked it in, otherwise we have to find a water tap somewhere else. So just filled up our water tank here and then we had like 20 
or 10 guys watching us off in Uzbekistan give us good tips as well where to go Well, that's a bit annoying. It's on this dirt road we just went to. So I drove a little bit too fast. Got up a, picked up a stone and then chucked in our windscreen here. Oh man, oh, it's a tiny, tiny bit. It looks so bad from the inside. Yeah, it's sweet. not too bad from out here though. So yeah, put some sticky tape on it and then hopefully it can somehow get repaired maybe. So it doesn't get worse. So yeah, hopefully it keeps the dirt out and then we can get it maybe fixed. Harvey's first band-aid. Ah, I think we got a windscreen replaced two years ago. Yeah. It's just annoying on people. I need to speed for no reason and then I will break it. I'd show you if following the red or green for. So we're here in town of Lagodoshensk. Thanks for recommendation from Italian friends. Yeah. The main reason we're here is because you got Russia here and there you got China. That's the town of Haihe. Sausage stand. Having dinner in this random shack back uh, corner. Explore Russian shopping complex. So work. No. Theme kind of. What the heck is this? Um, I reckon? Yeah. And a hundred little sweets or oh, cheesecake chocolate sweets. Da -da, da -da. Oh, there's a couple different variations. Got like two loads of washing done here as well. I'll take this place in I Overland as well for everyone. Very nice stuff. Diesel in Russia is how it works. You have to prepay, so you go inside the shop. Give them the money and that's how much you can fill up. Mm -hmm. So it's not really like filling up a tank or much and then go and pay. It's prepaid. Yep. So yeah. You know what? Two. Paid more than what we needed, and Serena just had to go back and get the change. So, yeah, that's it. Most are prepaid, so no worry if you pay too much, you get your money back. Now, pretty shake the tire pressure as well. Once we're here, it's here at the side of the road because you can see everywhere where people are selling their goods. So, we just got some honey, yeah, and, she and it only cost us, yeah, a free jar of something, something, yeah. and said thanks for coming to Russia. Uh, use your finger. Use my finger? Yeah. Are you okay if I use my finger? That's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm. Let me try. Oh, it's so fresh. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Double yeah. dips. Mm.
spots where we could camp, but it is a bit soft to get in here. And I can't be bothered risking to get bocked and have to use max trucks and everything. So we stay on our other campsite, but yeah, might go on that river later. Oh, it's beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, it's actually not that deep. No, it's not. No. That's nice, nice. Here's our campsite for today. Almost halfway there. But yeah, next to this river. Oh, what have we got tonight? Mm -hmm. uh like a <laughs> loads of veggies something we've sorely missed for a, i think a long time yeah japan was a bit veggie sparse yeah well it's more like pickling stuff and we like this type of vegetables it's yeah. just different and uh the next thing to cook will be uh a shit ton of chicken got a lot of chicken to cook that's flavored no idea yeah. what it is but it's not find out Good morning everyone. So we had a bit of a cold night last night. It was a bit, fr I'm not frozen, but you can see winter's coming. Apparently it was like three degrees. And yeah, we're testing the diesel heater now. I still have to tune it properly. But yeah, at least the smoke is all gone. I did a pre-tune. It's running. But yeah, of course we don't, still don't have any winter blankets, so. We make you what we got at the moment. The next, I think the next biggest town is another two days drive. So perfect time. Oh, can you see? It's a perfect opportunity to use the diesel heater. And then I, because it's still got like a CO meter, so I can actually tune the diesel heater properly. I'll do it in the next couple of days when we stop somewhere for a little bit longer than a couple of hours. If you go the other way. No one's coming. Either uh, direction. No one on this side. Good on this side. Bumps all night. The axe cuts that had felled them, so fresh, the thrashing and kicking to get through. Cat cursed and ran to the place it had entered. We just pulled over here to South Road. It's the highway, here we are. Just trying to take a, a rest every couple of hours because it is a bit taxing our car because it's so loud and it's, it's a bit bumpy, it's not a smooth ride. But yeah, for some reason, I always thought it would be very remote drive that we're doing here. But it's actually very busy here, so you never will be alone if you break down or whatever. And they, they always have like petrol stations as well every 100 kilometers or something. So it's, it's a pretty easy drive. And now a GPS shows us you have to drive straight for the next 1400 kilometers. There's nothing, no deviation from the road. Die from exposure before he made it back to civilization. But they continued on. Pulling up to a rest stop and uh, stretch our legs a bit. Of course, the road to get into the rest stop is always so very bumpy. A shop. Hey, you got your toilets and your shower here. And I think over there, that's the motel. Cool. Cantina star.
are now here. Thanks to I over there. And I might just check. Oh, is the hood everything hasn't rattled loose? Because yeah, the car guys look pretty heavy. So, still gonna test this one. It's the engine preheater. Just didn't have time before we left. Test it. But honey, we've been on the road for like five months now, but because we're always in Japan, South Korea, and there were always people around us. So I didn't really want to work on the car too much, disturb other people. Of course, they are a bit louder as well. But now that we're here and there's no one else around, I can work on these things. So yeah, because it is getting colder now, so I will test this one tomorrow morning before we go somewhere where we really, really need it. And shit, let me figure out it doesn't work. And shout out to this guy. That's the actuator, actuator for our cruise control. And we're interested. That's the Command AP60 cruise control. Uh, show off today being the windscreen from all these mozzies hundreds of mozzies we collected today we bought this watermelon a couple of days ago and it's kind of time to eat this bad boy cheers cheers good good hold on oh. unfortunately i don't have any oil we do not carry any alcohol so we can't do like a vodka watermelon Snack. <laughs> it's good. It's actually quite nice. It would taste even better if it was cold. Yeah. We see those people pulled out on the side of the road. We can buy another one. Yeah, I'm keen. Might mm. as well support them. Mm. We'll support a supermarket. Mm -hmm. So I used to eat watermelon with a spoon like this. Everyone used to laugh at me in hostels. But yet I was the one who had the easiest time in front of the TV eating his watermelon. Mm -hmm. It's fine evening. We're having some leftovers from yesterday. Veggies, chicken and couscous. We're just getting car ready. We're using our solar shades this time on the outside and all windows to see how inside it will be. Yeah, watch a movie and then we go to bed. Because tomorrow morning we're going to wake up early.